Jesus. Hey guys, I'm your host Ricky and tonight we have another episode of On Track. Hey guys, welcome back to On Track. Tonight I'm here with Nate D. How's it going? Good. Good? Doing good. First time here? Yes. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for having I'm me. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> me too. It was a, it was, it's a good time. Yeah? Where'd sure. you come from? Wisconsin. Okay, nice. Yeah, so kind of quite glad the drive. Glad you made it here. Yeah. Didn't bring any cheese though? Well, I kind of ate it all on the way here. Oh, that's all right. So. That's all right. That's next time. Sorry. I'll, yeah, I'll get you next time. <laughs> I'll bring down some stuff. So tell us a little about, about yourself. Like, where'd you start playing music? Uh, it, just where I'm from, you know, I play, I think I played my first ever show. I was a junior in high school and I hadn't played guitar for very long. It was like a year and some, it was like coffee day or like coffee shop day okay. where they do like poetry readings and they yeah, do a whole bunch of stuff. Sweet. So my, one of my friends was a guitar player. He's like, oh, play, play guitar or whatever. Like, I'm just going to sing it. I was like, oh, okay. And then it turns out that he just signed my name in it. So I had to go up no. and I, he's like, I'm not going to do it. You have to do it now. I'm like, well. What do you mean? Great I friend. had to do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I didn't. I only had. I only knew like one song. So I went up and super nervous. Did my one song in front of my whole class, and then I got a few standing O, and I left. And I got super awkward and left. Wow. But then after that, after I got some good feedback from teachers and friends and stuff, I was like, oh, maybe this could be something I could do. So then, just kind of took off from there. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a great startup story. Too. Oh, totally. <laughs> it was a, yeah, it was a good time. So how did you come up with older and wiser? Um. That was one where I had the riff first. I just kind of was playing around, like, you know, most of my songs start, I just play around with riffs or with it changes the capo up or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but the release I put out that that one's on, a lot of it's about, like, reflecting on back on stuff. And I'm still, like, I'm not an old guy, so I can't, right. you know. But you still get older. I think I've had that first uh, part of it for about two years. So just the growing into that kind of thing, uh, growing up and just, you know, Getting, getting on, getting over with stuff and yeah. people and, you know, you just just get on. Yeah. You know? Now, do you feel like as you've been growing and stuff that your style has changed as far as music goes? Like your influences or how you produce music? Uh, I think it's pretty similar, at least with stuff I listen to. Producing just gotten better. I just got more equipment. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just friends that I work with and stuff. Um, but I've definitely, I've gone from a more, I used to be like super sad lyric guy. like starving artist guy yeah. and now I'm more like an upbeat like hey guys it's all okay so in that kind of way cool. it's kind of progressed kind of that way. So what are your, some of your like influences then as far as music goes? Do you have like um, bands you listen to on a constant? Do you switch it up a lot? I, eh, I, could, I mostly stick to like alt rock and rock and stuff like that uh, and like folk or whatever I guess I want to use folk now. Yeah. Uh, I really listen to uh, Pearl Jam is fun. Uh, I went and saw Mayday Parade last week nice. in Milwaukee, which is That's so me cool. and my sister's favorite band. So we went and saw them. They're really cool. Um, and then City in Color is a big one. John Mayer is a good one. He just came with a new album. It's really mm -hmm. good. Uh, so yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, you know. so kind of all over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of. that's nice. <laughs> so um, I'm excited to see that reflect in your music, too. Yeah, it's, some of it does, some of it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've gotten it older changes. and wiser, so exactly. it's gotten better. So, yeah. So it has to be And maybe good. as I get older and wiser, exactly. even more, I'll, yep. you know, maybe it'll be the so next time. It's going to be great. For sure. It's going to be great. I'm excited for you guys to hear it, too. This Thanks. is Older and Wiser.
there's nothing left for me. Pack my bags and get it out of this place where they let you break down. But it's never been enough to say sorry for the mistakes I've made. After all the Stomach pains, mood swings, had enough of the same things. Can't you tell I'm bored with you now? Leave me be, I'm worn out. Tired of hearing the same sound. I don't care if you let me down, cause I'm never gonna. There's nothing left for me Pack my bags and I'm headed out Of this place where they let you break down But it's never been enough to say Sorry for the mistakes I've made After all these days I wish I knew more I'd be on top of the world It's my fault, it's my fault That there's nothing left for me Pack my bags, I'm headed out Of this place where they let you break down No, it's never been enough to say I'm sorry for the mistakes I've made After all these days Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Welcome back. I hope you guys got a little bit older and a little bit wiser during that. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> Tonight I'm here with Nate D. So um, up next we're going to be hearing uh, Time Traveler, Cigarette in One Year. But I know you wanted to talk about a little bit about Cigarette in Run One Year. Yeah. So. Uh, Time Traveler is an old song. It's been out for a while. Go check it out if you want. Yeah. I mean, Sweet. the new stuff is better, in my opinion. Older I like it all, but this one's better. Older and wiser. <laughs> uh, Cigarette is a song uh, I think I like lyrically more than anything just because I've always been infatuated with the idea of writing a song called Cigarette. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. It's just part of, I think cigarettes in my life have been like one of those no-nos, but not in like, in, like, I, like a, a terrible way. You know what I mean? Like okay. my dad, when I was a kid, was, that was this one rule in, like, in life was like, don't ever do this. So it's oh. one of those things that's always kind of stuck with yeah. me. And my mom would do it and I think 
Uh, I've got I've had friends that do it, and I've seen close people or whatever do it. Mm -hmm. So coming with that, it was more of like a uh, the line burning your tongue on a coffee is like it's an instant pain. But when you're smoking a cigarette, it's a long-term pain. So the, like if you think when you're smoking a cigarette and drinking coffee, it's like oh that hurts, like it's hot. Yeah. It's the same as like oh maybe I should put that down too because I don't even see what's happening to me inside of me. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So that one's cool. One year. This is another one that I've had for a, long, for a while, sitting on the back burner. I wrote that one after my grandmother passed away, uh, mo mostly because it was like I didn't know her that well, at least because she lived in Colorado. Oh, okay. And uh, so, I mean, I've seen her a handful of times in my life, but I didn't really know her that well. And I went to see her with my, with my dad. And he did a cool like interview thing with her, and like asked her a whole bunch of questions about her life. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. And then she passed away, and I was it was uh, I was sitting at home, and I was just kind of playing guitar. I'm like, man, like I just learned a whole bunch of stuff out of, about her, and I don't know, she doesn't know anything about me. Like, what yeah. is she gonna, you know, like she's not gonna know anything. A lot happens in a year, so that's where that came from. Wow, that's some deep know. stuff. Seriously, let's call up Dare first of all. <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be their new theme song for sure. And then one year, like I'm sure, you know that your family really appreciates that too. Well, so see, that's the thing, not a lot of people know. They don't really ask questions. Oh. And it doesn't like, it doesn't like uh, lay into that lyrically, or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you, they ask about it. Um, and even I think my girlfriend doesn't know about that either. So, so I'm the first to know? So yeah, this is the first. I'm the first to know. Exclusive. Just so everybody knows. Exclusive. 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 <laughs> I love it, that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that helped me get through that pretty easily. Yeah. After it was, I mean, easier than, you know anything else. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So. That's nice. Um, so does like your family play music too? Like did you get it like hereditary wise or did no, it just happen? No, um, my dad played very briefly at, right before I started playing. Okay. And my sister played briefly and my other sister played piano but like super later, mm -hmm. like after I had played guitar and stuff. Did you guys play together at all? No, we joked about having a family band. Oh, that totally was really funny. Should. Uh, my dad works in radio up in Wisconsin, so oh, cool. all the music and that kind of thing and being around bands since I was yay high or whatever. And uh, just being around the whole thing, I never even thought to play guitar until one of my better friends was, he's so good at guitar. He's so good. I could just watch him play all the time. Um, but then, you know, he's like, you should play. Okay. And then I start playing. Nice. I so. love it. So don't take a smoke break. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're going to Go be get listening a coffee to instead. real, seriously, <laughs> we're be listening to Time Traveler, Cigarette, and One Year. I wish I was a time traveler So I could escape this life I could disappear, not be missed No one would know I was gone Except you, except you You would know You can feel it in your bone I wish I had a dollar to pay my bills and stay up alone. I could run free, screw society. I'll go wherever I please, but I know I won't go. I'll miss you. And I know. Should have known this was an obvious scam. 
But I was too naive to understand the situation I'm in. I walk away and never look back. You could never love me anyway. It feels good to bleed, to feel the To feel a heart on my cheek To see the sunshine I used to think that you were meant for me I guess the odds were wrong Light up a cigarette Walk with the beat in your feet Like you're starring in a movie scene That no one will ever see Pour yourself a drink Take your mind off your dreams Before they become Patience is a cruel mistress And now you'll never forget The last time you smoked a cigarette coming to me in a mist I haven't seen the climax of a rose as red till it glows like a fire orange and golden the colors of a scheme never seem so important to me One year can make a man or break him into Live long, stay strong, bury me too Bury me too Travel far, travel wide, see everything your eyes desire. Big cities shimmering, a crowd of people looking at me. One year can make a man. I wish you could see it too.
come There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Hey guys, welcome back to On Track. I'm here with Nate D. You guys just heard Time Traveler. We heard Cigarette. We heard One Year. We also Lots heard Older and Wiser. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Yeah. People got to stay tuned. Oh, They're gonna miss I hope it. so. They got one more left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that one's called Bright. Tell yeah. me a little bit about Bright. Bright is darker for me. It's more... I was... When I graduated high school, I didn't have a job. I wasn't going to school. I went to school for two days and left. Oh. And then I, had, I was interning at a recording studio, and then that didn't work out either. Like, just whatever happened, I was done doing it. So I was just, you know, staying at my dad's house, playing video games, not really doing anything with my life. So it was kind of like a little bit depressing. I wouldn't say I was depressed, but like that point where you, a low. you're a little low. Yeah. So it was... Uh, up where in Wisconsin, there's on um, Michigan, there's a, a whole bunch of rocks and stuff and like beaches and stuff. Yeah. So it started finally getting nice uh, in the springtime. So I went out and I was just sitting on rocks, listening to music, whatever. And then uh, I debated like jumping into the to the water like real briefly. And then I just wrote down what I was thinking in my head. I was like, okay, now I'm gonna go write a song about it. So instead of jumping in and for, and maybe you know doing whatever, yeah. I went home and finished it off, and I've been nice. good ever since. You know. So that's more like, if you're going to do that thing, don't do that thing. There's something else that's going to happen to you. And nice. for me, it happened right away. Wow, so that's really I'm really grateful for that. We have one. to call these people up. Dare? Like, you're going to be a new spokesperson for something, something. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. We'll see what that's happens. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, I know you said the, the whole interning with the radio show, but now you're actually doing some stuff yeah, on the radio. Yeah, my dad is a PD up in Wisconsin. So I did a show like this, similar to this in Indiana. Oh, sweet. And uh, he listened to it, and he's like, I got home, and he's like, we should do that here. I was like, okay. Then like a month later, he's like, oh, we're going to do it here now. I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, you're going to run it. I'm like, oh. Nice. Okay. Man, so, look at that. Yeah, All right? these people always throwing you into stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, so we got two other guys doing it, and we were going for like two years or something. Uh, so we interviewed stuff kind of like this, and then I think I've been on that show twice because of cancellations or just because I wanted to be on it. Yeah. So it's a good time. Yeah, Meet a lot awesome. of cool people doing that too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. They have to have you interview me sometime. Oh, come on. You can sing. I don't know. We'll do the choir <laughs> thing. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'll play guitar for you and interview you at the same okay, time. Okay, okay. If, sure. if you play, if yeah, you play, I'll play. then we'll yeah, do it. Yeah, I'll play some chords. You can sing over it. Nice. For sure. It'll be new. Uh, no, flannel kimono. Yeah, flannel kimono. Check it out. Flannel yeah. kimono. Flannel kimono. Facebook.com slash flannel kimono. Love it. <laughs> Got merch coming up this week. Speaking of merch, where can we find you? Uh, we, you can find me at facebook.com slash music by Nate D and twitter.com uh, slash oh me oh my mercy me and if you find either of those there's everything else on there okay, cool. there's the website the website's got a huge long name I'm not going to try and spew it out at you uh, YouTube uh, that's on the Facebook and stuff too if you find the Facebook you find everything else for okay, sure cool. that's where most of the stuff happens so. and then I know you had um, a song recently come out too some newer oh uh, the EP yeah, yeah. The, uh, the as I pondered that's got older and wiser cigarette one year nice. and then uh, two Old other shipping. tracks too yeah sweet so check that out that's on my website if you check it out on Facebook first you can get the link to the website nice perfect so. well thank you so much for being here thanks for having me thanks for hanging out for sure I'm excited for flannel kimono yeah flannel kimono coming out soon I'll post <laughs> yeah, it on my page too <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here this has been another episode of on track and you guys have to go ahead and stay tuned so you can listen to Bright.
sitting on the edge, debating to let myself fall. I know I think too much and I talk too little, so I'm told. The wind cuts my breath, but I'm ready to speak. This isn't what I thought my life would be. Oh no. It's an idea that I created from the fear that I am worthless. And I just want to see a man as strong as me live through. Bright, burning bright. Ooh. I can't keep my real friends. They're starting to recognize me. Where are you now? And I'm bleeding out on the floor. A knife in my hand, my heart in yours. My mind keeps me sane, never lies to me. Keeps me awake at night, so I don't miss a thing. It's an idea that I created from the fear that I am worthless. And I just want to see a man as strong as me lift the world. Show me what it's like to step into the light, burning bright, burning bright. Ooh. In my room alone, the mind's keeping in. It's too much to take to. Way. It's an idea that I created from the fear that I am worthless. And I just want to see a man as strong as me lift the world off my shoulders. Show me what it's like to step into the light, burning bright. Burning Burning bright